Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, hey, Philip, what's up? Sound, mate, sound right. We are coming into our next game, mate. So nice, man. Currently, good. currently 2-1 uh, from Fridge. Uh, we saw our last game's incomplete. He wrecked us. I saw Perry, mate. That time in pushing the Immortal was amazing. Um, <laughs> that was, man, it was a really good uh, push. Pretty standard, actually. I was surprised yeah. he didn't build units. Yeah, that last run of drone obviously hurts him a little bit, and obviously the supply block as well. So I don't think that was um, that was a bit, a bit misread there a little bit, but you get those sort of same things, don't you? You 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 know, you've yeah, been playing two really long game. He'd done extremely well on those last two match. Um, so on the top left corner, we have a Zerg player here. Another Zerg uh, from us, Coldplay. Nice. And on our bottom, we have a yellow Protoss player, Zelot's Incomplete. So we will definitely see some uh, amazing play from Incomplete. Obviously, he knows his build order. He knows his game plan. He very focused, very strong hand. Um, hopefully, um, rank wise, we'll, we'll we'll see quite a, quite a quick equal uh, to two from us, and then we'll kick into a diamond series fights in a minute. Nice, nice. That's going to be pretty exciting. Have you seen so? Have you seen Zealous, uh, Zealous play before? Uh, I think in previous we have a little um, clan war that we had before, but uh, I don't think we're that close. I don't think we play all the time, so uh, it's worth you know organizing more things like this and more often, and then having more people viewing us, and then you know, and then enjoying more clan wars uh, with us. So that, that's definitely a good thing. Yeah, definitely agreeing on that. So quite quick approach scout and obviously he spotted the location of our Zerg player. Um, tinkling search, searching around. F 15 drone obviously. I don't know whether he's going to put a... a, a he might go for greedy going for hatch first rather than go up safely pull first. I'm uh, surprised he's actually going for the hatch first when the probe's actually down there. He's going to try and block him of course. Mm -hmm. If you're playing a Zerg player, obviously you see the probe becoming quite quickly and scout you quite quickly. You instantly think the pro the the, the Protoss player is a lot quicker, and lots closer to you. So, in that sense, you probably think about going a spot a pool first, maybe just be you know a bit more defensive because now he's losing a bit of a bit of timing now. Yeah, definitely. Quite quickly, he's not mining I mean, that extra drone. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if, if you are going to try to go for the hatch, at least go with two drones. You mm. can kind of have, like, one chase the probe and the other one plant the hatch down. Mm. This is just, like, uh, it's not the end of the world, but it is a little bit of a, of a win for uh, the yeah. Protoss player. Yeah. It's definitely annoying for a Zerg player, so... Mm -hmm. Let's see what the Zerg can do. Obviously, his scouting is, is reading it. He's trying to understand what his guy was his tech going for, but that... Not putting a third down, obviously, and still... Pixie pouring with his uh, natural is definitely uh, definitely a damage there. There's about f the fourth pylon being going down now. But finally, with two s uh, sets of two sets of, <laughs> two sets of links come down, so obviously he can deny that and put his hatch down. Finally, look at me wrong. It's, it's a bit delay. Like, if you think about it, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Well, on the other side of the map, it looks like the Protoss is going for his expansion. He's not going to go for any quick gas or any quick Stargate play. Um, so, the game is pretty much... It's not going to be any quick aggression from the Protoss. Mm -hmm. So, it looks like the game is going to go into mid-game. Well, gas has gone down now, so it's quite quick gas for a Zerg to go standard. Normally, you take oh, a for gas the Zerg, last, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, normally, you get, uh, a Zerg player get a gas around six minutes of mark, so... Um, and just get free hatch quite quickly and play guest to play a little bit. But again, he sees a gateway opening first, so putting guest and getting speedling in this time is not too bad of an option. Yeah, definitely. Well, the Overlord is sitting in the in in the home of the uh, of the Protoss player. He's probably get snipe out with this entry that's coming out shortly. Um, oh my god! But the Web Graves researcher, you probably you are probably talking about the same build order as the last game, I reckon. By the, by the amount of gas it's mining, I don't think it's going to get warp gate quite quickly. I don't think it's going to go any star gates aggressions or anything like that. So it might be quite standard. Yeah, you def I definitely agree with you right there. I'm pretty sure he's going to go for that same push that we saw in the last game. I mean, why not? It worked so well. It probably uh, 
would be hard to stop here as well. So if only Zerg play that, it's going to play up on the next game, then it's definitely be a bit of forceful to uh, to look and see what what what, the, what in control can do. Um, mm -hmm. Third's gone down, obviously from uh, from cold play. It's not it's not it's not droning that heavily at the moment. It's getting another queen out. It's getting the research of the of the speedlings. Mm -hmm. He's yeah, scouting though. I like I like his tr uh, lings running around the map and trying to scout for any proxy pylon, which is very important. That's very true. That's a very good play right there. Yeah, that is I mean, a major I, thing to delay it, isn't it? Another okay, the robot has been followed down, so it could be another immortal push again. Mm -hmm, yeah, man, I'm pretty sure he's gonna do the same thing again. I mean, I wonder if um, Coldplay is like thinking, thinking if he would do the same strategy that uh, he did in the last game. He should have a little bit of an idea. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Uh, yeah, potentially again if if you know it works, then you know quite commonly you know, on on a on a clan war basis, you you always go for your strength and your your best built order, don't you? You don't ever want to tweak things around and not you know not do your thing that you commonly do. So uh, I, I think Coldplay will you understand that, and uh, you know he's putting Roach one down quite earlier than he normally does, uh, getting his lair, which I think he might be going for you know a, a quick Roach speed, which is very important against a mortal push and then if he is he actually thinking about hold on let's stop and think about okay I'm on 38 drone at the moment mm -hmm. let's stop and build unit out and counter that and defensive that push then you know he's might have a chance to go into a sort of like late late mid game sort of playing style with you know could be a hydro play in the in just denying the third or the protoss yeah exactly. it's, it's possible yeah. Yeah. but again when you're on this sort of level you talk about a lot of engagement positions and tactical uh, play sentries are having good force fill can you know can eat up that ease so easily so it's all down to, down to the down to engagement end of the day when you that sort of level of game that we're talking about but uh, it's mm -hmm. good to see it's good to see the you know the, the roach count is actually climbing now so he is prepared for it another thing is yeah. if that ling scouted it when the units are moving out that's another important, you know call for it the raw prism has been produced he might oh, throw, the Rob Prism could throw another Twix as well, he could be a mortal drop into the main and then push in the front, it could be, you know, there's a lot of options for a Protoss player. Yeah, Hydra's that was, it's really annoying, that's for sure. I mean, um, well, he just, he just produced 12 more drones, oh, that's not going to be too good. He should have just kept producing units from this point. I mean, he's got two immortals, so the roaches might not be as effective as you think they would be. I would kind of like to see uh, more ling base, more speeling. But um, let's just see what happens here. Right, the units are moving out now, so he's got a big kicking between the third and area. So a lot of drones been pulled out. The Roach is not set up correctly. The force field been great. A lot of lings coming around. So if you get a good surround, that might be a, could be a possibility. But it's not too uh, bad at the uh, moment. He's uh, target firing onto the Immorto. So if Immorto had gone down, it might be still uh, a fight. Oh, no, good. No, no, another good warp pin from the Stalkers. I think this is going to hurt a lot. Uh, right. He's definitely going to lose the third base right now. I mean, well, one thing he can do is basically try to put a bunch of spines right now on his second base. But oof, he's not even going for his third base. He knows he's pretty much just going to go straight for the second base. Well, what is he going to do? <coughs> well, this is it. This is it. This is another vital match and a gameplay. A little surround coming from a lot of links coming wrapping around. So a oh bit God. more force field can froze down, but I don't, I don't think he's using it. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, really good force right yeah. there. I mean, this is not looking too good for a Zerg player. He's just going to warp in more units, and there's not much he can do really at this point. Mm -hmm. Looks so like yeah, we're going to have. is uh, kiting, but there's more stalkers. There's another f additional six stalkers are coming in. Yeah, very aggressive play again. So, GG, well done. Well done, that's for sure. Wow.